This is Sean Plew from Hitters.com. Today we're going to take a look at Mike Trout, some of his swing movements, and what allows him to be one of the very best hitters in the game today. If you're watching any of my other videos, you know that I like to see guys with nice barrel flow and nice deep swing path. Mike Trout doesn't tip the bat, right? He holds the bat more at a 45 degree angle. You can see he wraps a little bit. Uh, kind of holds the barrel behind his head. But what I want you to notice here is, is the front foot's up, front shoulders pointing towards the opposite middle infielder, back elbows up and back. The rest of his body is in a really nice position to hit. This is a position that you'll see from all of the great hitters in the game today and ever. Uh, the weight's in the right spot. He's doing a lot of really nice things and it would be ignorant for anyone to take a look at his swing and, and decide that he's, you know, a freak and, and he can get away with things. He's clearly doing a lot of things right. And there's plenty of examples of, of freak athletes who can't hit major league pitching. So he's clearly doing a lot of things right. And one of those things is he's able to stay inside the baseball and hit with good launch angle and stay through the baseball. So I want you to notice how steep his swing plane is. And this is something that I noticed in high school and, and, and a lot of his swings that he takes, not just on a low pitch, but even thigh high and waist high, he's, he's very tilted. He's, he's very through the ball, very uh, steep in the way he approaches the ball. So you'll see the barrel get way below his hands and you see how far down in here he drops his back shoulder. So the reason this is good, right? And, and I'm not saying, hey, tell everyone to drop their back shoulder. I want you to notice here his, his shoulders and, and the direction to which they're spinning, right? A lot of guys will, will spin their front shoulder and they'll spin horizontally, sideways. I want you to notice how his front shoulder goes up, right? And because his front shoulder goes up, that means he's able to create this tension between the upper and lower body and maintain it throughout the swing. Even in to this point right here, he has tension between the upper and lower body. He's able to maintain it because he's tilting, right? Tilting up and down. Swinging the swing underneath his head rather than around his body or across. Really gets behind this pitch down and in. And he's able to lift this ball, keep it off the ground, and drive it really, really nice. Right? And he doesn't get to extension on this swing, but when you when you swing this vertical, you're going to be behind the ball. You, you don't really have to extend and, and exaggerate it, although I would like to see that happen after contact here. Um, one thing I also want you to notice is the hips. Guys that swing more vertical like this, don't usually finish with their hips the same way that you'll see other guys who swing more horizontal and get through the baseball f flatter. Um, those guys, you'll see the back, back foot come off the ground and the big hip turn. But these guys that swing more vertical aren't going to finish their hip that same way. They're, they'll kind of kick out with this back foot. You'll see the same thing in Miguel Cabrera, Joey Votto, Matt Kemp, all these guys that swing more vertical, right? And this allows them to hit the ball to all fields. All of those guys are, are very good at hitting the ball to all fields, including Mike Trout. So that can be a huge advantage, staying behind the baseball and staying through the baseball. Let's take a, take a look at this swing here. Look how low this ball is. He's able to keep the ball off the ground. I think he hit this ball for a home run. This is insane, right? Where do you throw the ball as a pitcher when guys can do this? Look at that, right? He's almost tilted his shoulders to completely vertical, right? This is staying inside the baseball. This is the best way to describe it is you have to be able to, to be more vertical in your swing. Approach the ball at this plane, at this swing plane. And from here, you can adjust up, right? But if you can't drop down in there like this, it's hard to stay inside. You're going to roll over and, and hook the ball rather than really stay behind it and through it the way Chow does. You can see on this swing, he got better extension, obviously, because he needed to here. Uh, 
get the hands a little bit away from the shoulder to, to buy himself this room to reach this ball. Again, you see the front, the back foot kick out. The hips don't really finish all the way. Again, that's okay. These guys that swing more vertical don't have to finish all the way. They, they open up the hips to, to line up the pitch, and that's all they need to turn them uh, because they've kept this tension so well by tilting their shoulders rather than spinning sideways. Let me show you some other guys that, that do a similar move and, and have a similar swing. Here's Miguel Cabrera. Now, I like the position that Cabrera holds his bat better than Chout, but you can see right into here, he kind of gets to the same position. So Chout's not creating as much momentum and bat speed and early bat speed, but the way they get through the ball is very similar. Look how steep Cabrera gets through the ball here. This allows them to get behind and through the baseball. And again, back hip, back foot, kicking out, same kind of deal, right? So the way they get through the ball is extremely similar. And that's partly why Mike Trout has had the success that he's been able to have. Another guy here, here's Joey Votto. Another guy that gets to the ball super steep, drops his back shoulder as far as it can go and stays inside the baseball, hits with power to all fields. And again, look at this back hip. You think this back hip finishes? But I promise you, he's using this back leg and he's using his lower body efficiently. I promise you that, even though he's not spinning and finishing fully. Here's another view of Trout. Again, you can see the tilt going on back here. Tilt, tilt, tilt. See the hand stay at the shoulder. He's obviously doing a lot of really nice things. Um, you see the back, back leg lead the movement. And the back heel's kind of kicking out there. So obviously Trout's doing a lot of good things, even though he doesn't get to that, that nice barrel position that I like to see. Uh, the rest of his body is, is in sync, and the way he gets through the baseball is really, really nice. And you can see here, even though he's not created a bunch of momentum, I want you to watch the way this back forearm works. The, bar the barrel's kind of turning around this back forearm. He's not hammering the ball. He's, he's twisting the bat around the hands through this action right here, rather than hammering and coming through the ball flat, right? So this action right here is what allows him to really stay inside the ball and, and swivel the bat into contact. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. This has been Sean Plew from Hitterish.com. Catch you next time.